We are inside the JCC and what you see behind me, this is Healing Inc. They have set up here with volunteer tattoo artists. They're tattooing survivors from the Tree of Life as well as first responders, family members, and even residents as a way to help them heal. My grandmother's name was Rose and she was uh, one of the victims. The tattoos are personal. In the middle, there's 11 petals for each of the victims. But in their own way, they each honor those who were killed inside Tree of Life on October 27, 2018. Healing Inc. traveled to Pittsburgh for that purpose. To help them reclaim their bodies, cover their scars, and continue to heal physically and emotionally. For some, that means sharing the story. And I have something that I can hold on to, and then I can explain it to others. The message, or keeping a family member a little extra close. When it's on your body, it's not that you remember it more, but it's a, it's a piece of art on your body, and she's, she's always on your body from, from here on out, which is what I wanted. Eric Malinger's 97-year-old grandmother, Rose, died with 10 others that day. He says he and his twin sister, Amy, each chose their own Rose to keep who she was, a part of them. All of the good stuff that she that she ever brought to this world, her kindness. The different reasons, images, memories, and healing are all part of why Healing Inc. is here. Healing Inc. will be traveling again in about three months to Israel to tattoo there. At the JCC in Squirrel Hill, Marcy Cipriani, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.